So I'm going to break down the top 10 ways that my agency uses to get links for local business websites. Okay. In my experience, most of the time you don't need to pay for links for a local business website. Usually the competition just isn't high enough to justify that. As long as you take these other 10 ways and utilize them to get quality links to your business websites or to your clients, business websites. All right. So let's go ahead and get started into these top 10. Number one, the chamber of commerce, your local chamber of commerce. These are incredibly powerful links. Now they're paid. You do have to join the local chamber of commerce in order to get this link, but they're usually very reasonably priced, like on the order of $200 a year for a small business. Because of my agency, I'm personally a member of dozens of chambers of commerce across the United States. Usually I'll join them for my client, but use my contact information so they don't get all of the spam and other reach outs from that local chamber of commerce. And the goal of joining is really just to get that link. I have ranked personal injury attorneys in cities with 200,000 people just with a handful of chamber of commerce links. And yes, I said handful. Usually what I'll do is join chambers of commerce within a hundred miles or so of the GBP address. So one single client can get three, four local chamber of commerce links for a lot of spaces. That's often enough to rank without having to do any additional local link building. So that's my number one, join your local chamber of commerce. Number two, look at the manufacturer for the products you sell or for the products you install. So if you're an HVAC installer, look at the manufacturer for the air conditioning units. If you're a plumber, look at the manufacturer for water heaters. Uh, if you're selling mattresses, look at the mattress brands that you sell, whatever it happens to be. Go to the manufacturer's website and look for a store or installer locator, and then find a way to submit your business and your business's website to that store or installation locator. If they don't have a store or installation locator, go ahead and send an email out to that manufacturer. Let them know who you are, that you specialize in their products, you install them or you sell them, and you would love to, if you could be mentioned on their website as a trusted resource. Manufacturers, very clearly, if you're selling their product or you're installing their product, they want you to be able to sell or install more of their products so you buy more from them. So most of them are very happy to either add you to their existing store or installer locator, which will give you a link, or they might even give you a link on one of their other pages. Uh, so this only takes a few minutes. It's well worth it. Okay. Number three, we have eco-friendly directories. So if this is related to your business, so again, if you're an HVAC installer, you specialize or offer high efficiency units, maybe you do insulation and you specialize in high efficiency insulation, whatever it happens to be, if there's some way that your business can be seen in as eco-friendly, there are a couple of really good eco-friendly directories. There's green pages and green directories USA. You can submit your business to both of these if it fits and then you'll get links from them. All right. Number four, look for local schools, local sports leagues, youth sports leagues and sponsor a team, donate supplies, donate money, offer a scholarship, something like that. If it's a private school, uh, there's any number of ways that you can do this where you're looking at these local sports leagues or schools, look at their websites, see if they have anything like this. If they mention other local businesses, if they do, then reach out out and offer to sponsor or buy supplies, something like that. And you should be able to get links from them, especially if they already have a website where they highlight these types of businesses who are involved in the community like that. Links from these types of websites, local.edu or local sports websites are incredibly powerful, well worth what it costs to donate the supplies, money, everything like that. Also, you know, check with your accountant, but a lot of these donations should be tax deductible. Number five, uh, we have to submit your business for local awards. There are a lot of local awards. You can get an A plus in the Better Business Bureau. Chamber of Commerce often has local awards. You can see this one here. That is for a top 10 under 40 for my local Chamber of Commerce. I got an excellent link as a result of winning that. And there's a variety of other ones. Certificate of Excellence for TripAdvisor. I know Yelp gives top 10 lists. You can get a link from that. And a lot of local newspapers run a best of type competition. So submit yourself for that. Even if you don't win, just being submitted for it will often generate a link from that website, from the organization that's hosting that award. So even just submitting can get you a solid local link for it. All right. The next one we're going to talk about number six, we have a jobs listing. So create a job description on your website. 
uh, that talks about the open position, uh, the responsibilities, and make sure that page has an internal link back to your homepage or some other URL that you're trying to rank, and then create a job listing on the major job sites, Indeed, uh, LinkedIn, other ones like that. If there's a local jobs board or a highly relevant uh, jobs board like teachusa.com, if you're posting for a teacher or something like that, uh, look for those types of things. You can also look for uh, service specific jobs. Like I know there's a concrete jobs uh, board. I know there's a spray foam insulation jobs board. So look for these types of jobs boards that are highly relevant and local to you or just very powerful like indeed.com or things like that. And when you post those jobs, make sure to add a link back to the job description that is hosted on your website. Okay, so number seven. What we're gonna do for number seven, we're gonna have to use a third party tool where we look at our local competitors' links. Arefs, Moz, SEMrush, a lot of these tools have a free version and that free version is probably gonna be good enough, but if you are an SEO agency, you probably have a third party backlink checker like this anyway. So pull up your local competition and not just in the same space, but try to keep it in the same geography. So if you're a plumber in Houston, go ahead and look up HVAC companies in Houston. Look up uh, any relevant local services providers in your area, not just plumbing, okay? And you're gonna pull all their links and you're just gonna read through the links manually. You're just gonna look through it. Uh, are there any local websites, any local organizations that they have links from? Check out what that linking site is, how did they get that link, and you can reach out to those same types of places. Uh, it gives you some new ideas for maybe some sponsorships or local awards, local recognition, things like that. This is really just be part of being involved in a local community, or at least making it look like you're involved in the local community. Just to get more ideas without having to scour the website, you can just look at what your competition has already done that's been successful. Okay, the next few are gonna be a little bit broader than just focusing on your uh, very specific local space. We're gonna talk about number eight, which is citations. So just plain old citations directories. The source that we use is the ice cream truck shop. Uh, you can find a link to it in the description. And basically, you're just gonna place an order for citations. You'll get a hundred or so links. Some of them are okay, some of them are pretty good, as a lot of them aren't, but that's okay. Uh, citations help your local SEO more than just the links. They also help to get your business name, address and phone number out on the internet. So Google knows that you're a real business, that you're active online. So. Citations are definitely worth doing. They both help your GBP rank and they will get you some nice links. Okay, number nine is a press release. Same source, icecreamtruck.shop, that's where we get our press releases from. And this is very similar to citations. The goal of the press release is just to get a bunch of links over to your website. They're not going to do a whole lot from ranking on their own, but they will get your business name mentioned in a variety of websites. And we know that Google tracks how often it sees your business named online. So press release, definitely worth a couple hundred dollars to get this done. Okay, and number 10, the last one I'm gonna talk about, it used to be called Hero, H-A-R-O. That stood for help a reporter out. It's now connectively. So what this is, it's a group of reporters who are looking for expert quotes. So now that it's connectively, you can't submit for free anymore. With Hero, you used to be able to submit for free. Personally, I think it's good that you don't submit for free anymore because that means that the competition, the number of people submitting quotes is much, much lower than it used to be when it was free to submit. So now that it's not free anymore, you have a much better chance of actually getting quoted and a link if you provide expert information to a reporter who's writing an article. So go to Connectively, you can sign up for free and then you spend some credits to reply to specific reporters who are looking for information. So whatever your space is, either geographical or relevant to your local service niche, make sure you put both of those in your search. And then whenever a reporter is looking for a quote or for information that is either consistent with your geography or your service niche, go ahead and send a good sound bite. If you're interested in what types of responses get a lot more quotes from Connectively or Hero. I'm gonna put a link in the comments. You can go and join my free community. And in that community, I'm going to give you a template that you can follow when you're replying to these Connectively Hero requests. Okay, so those are the top 10 ways that we use to get links to local business websites. And now that you know how to get those links, the next thing I want you to focus on is making sure that your local business website is optimized around the 
best structure you can give it. So check out this video. I'm gonna give you a PowerPoint slide in that video that breaks down exactly how you should structure your local business website to maximize your rankings.